here he comes. Dude, what is that? What's what? Your swimsuit. What else would I mean? It's your basic black. What? I'm not talking about the color. I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing. I'm seeing things I never needed to see. You're the only one saying stuff like that. Don't act like you're not egging me on. Wait, Kanji. How come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would... What? I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, let's be mermaids! He went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Oh! My string's getting undone. Hey, Teddy, watch the hands, pal. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. What in the world are they doing? Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. What now? God, you, you bastard. Busted. Hey, Senpai, this stupid bear here. Hey, 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 not cool! You listening, senpai? Wait, hold it! Time out! Uh, look down! Down? <laughs> Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! What are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! I give up! Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast. But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins. Why don't we take a break? I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break to slake with steak. They're getting out of the water. Teddy, what gives? I'm... I'll go look for something. Sit tight.
The... There's no way, we... I can hear the harps! Stay with us, Ted! <sighs> All right, Conch... Wait, that's... Oh, there they are! They're coming! Just hide it! What am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm ready to be born, damn it. <laughs> Was this the best idea? Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well, I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but... Simplicity isn't always a virtue. Oh man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? Oh well, if I have your permission. Come on, you're embarrassing me even more. I think it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? Okay, why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie-senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy! Talk about kicking someone when they're down! Then instead of playing a game, why don't we do something else together? Like burying Teddy in the sand. Good times never you last like long. Him a sand bath? Oh no, my wrist is red. It was so cold. I wonder if our high school days will end that way too. What's with all the doom and gloom? The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? You think that might be pushing it? I guess it'd be ridiculous to try to drive our bikes on snowy roads. Nah. Well, so long as we don't do anything reckless, I mean. We could check the roads out first. If it seems dangerous, why not come up with another plan then? Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving after all. Hey, we're going home!
fireworks festival is today? John's house. I'll buy some trash bags on the way back. Dad said we'll be going to the fireworks show once he comes home. It's at night, so I have to go with Dad, but he said he'll try and come home for it. Mm-hmm. I'll go with Dad. Ooh, the crowd's pretty thin here. The riverbanks were packed. I'm surprised you found a quiet spot like this. Oh no, I knew about it. I pass by the mountainside a lot. Customers ask me about it too. I wonder if Nanako-chan will make it. I called and told her where we'd be before I left. Hey, where's Teddy? Not only was he hitting on girls non-stop, he accidentally put the moves on Hanako and she dragged him away. He ducked into his bear skin right away and acted like a bear, but he still got dragged off without a word. Whoa! Can we just leave him like that? Sure we can. His karma caught up to him. Aren't you being a little cold to Teddy today, yosuke -sam? When I think back to what he did this morning, no, I really don't. Truth be told, I wish I could send two or three more Hanukos at him. Dude, that would kill him. What happened anyway? I don't even want to remember it. He dug up some private stuff from my room and brought it to the Hanamura family breakfast. He was all like, Yosuke, what's this magazine about? Can you imagine the humiliation I went through because of him? It's your fault for having that stuff. It's not like I ever thought anyone would wave it around in front of my parents. Is this really what you want to be talking about with girls around? Huh? Is he not talking about his secret savings? Secret savings for a guy. Right. Let's just leave him be. Teddy? What a tragedy. My lovely fur is completely ruined. That's... Okay, that's worse than I was expecting. Anyway, people are going to stare at you like that. Hurry and take it off. But... I'm like a newborn child inside. Just like your magazine from this morning, Yosuke. Quit reopening this morning's wounds. There they are. Hey, Nanako-chan! Looks like Dojima-san made it in time. Yeah, Dad came home early. Yep. Sorry if I made you nervous. I didn't quite finish my paperwork, but I figured a dachi could handle the rest. Hey there, little lady. Wanna launch some fireworks of love with me? How do you do that? Well... Cut it out, Teddy! Do you want Dojima-san to haul you in? Things are heating up down there. Does that mean it'll be starting soon? Really? Don't listen to him. Stop messing with her, Teddy. Sometimes you're unbearable. Oh, Was that supposed to be a joke? <laughs> oh, looks like this one's a doozy. Oh, Ooh. you're right. Teddy, <laughs> Teddy, That concludes our program for the Summer Fireworks Festival. Thank you for coming, and all of us here in Inaba hope to see you again next year as well. Man, that was amazing! Totally worth coming out here for- Because you got to stuff your face, right? So what? 
You were all munching on snacks, too. An extra large steak bowl doesn't qualify as a snack. Did you have fun, Nanako-chan? Mm -hmm. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's about time for you to be home in bed. I'll take Nanako back. Make sure you guys don't stay out too late. Bye-bye, Nana-chan! Bye-bye. The fireworks were great, but... I don't know, it just feels like summer's just about over. Why'd you have to bring that up? I'm alright with that. When I'm working, I have to wear fall clothes during the summer so I don't get a sense of the seasons changing. But this year, I went to the beach and saw some fireworks. I even got to wear a yukata out to the summer festival. The festival, huh? Well, thanks to a certain someone, I don't have anything but bitter memories of that. Really? That someone is you. Well, I had fun. Oh yeah, you were good at that candy cutting. Wait, that's not what I meant! I was expecting something more... More bittersweet and stuff. Right? W wait a sec. What does that mean? What are you comparing it to? Did, did you go with someone else the next day? What's wrong, Risei-chan? You seem fidgety. Your face seems awfully red, too. Hmm? Uh, does it? Dude, seriously? <sighs> Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Like you're any different. Oh yeah, should we have asked that kid to come with us today? What kid are you talking Uh... Oh, him. Yeah, I guess so. When you think about it, we were working on the same case in a way. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we might not ever see him again. I'd hate to leave it with him like that. I said some harsh things. You know, I remember him saying something that sounded pretty sad. Then again, I doubt he's the type who'd accept even if we had invited him out to see the fireworks. I wonder if he's not here anymore. He seemed to be busy, so maybe he's already working on another case in some faraway town. Huh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be a downer. There's no point in wondering what might have been. He was a pretty good-looking guy, too. He might have been a roadblock in... Uh, other ways. Yosuke, you really do only think about girls, huh? Shut up! You don't have to say it twice! came down. Um, I got a call from Dad. He said someone gave him a watermelon. It's too big for us to eat, so he said you should call your friends over. Do you think Teddy and your other friends can come? Watermelon? Oh, definitely. I haven't had any yet this year. I'm gonna call up the others, so you better not smack it open before we get there. Um, Dad got a watermelon from someone, so he said we should call everyone. Man, a watermelon. Because of all the stuff that's gone down this summer, I completely missed out. So, where is it? The fridge? Gee, Kanji, they invited us over. At least show some manners. We gotta smack it open first. Huh? Are we seriously gonna do that? We can't eat it if it gets all crushed. But, but doesn't it sound like fun? I wanna do it too. I'll swing at it with everything I've got. The splattering fruit juice, bursts of joy, one night of love. The bitter sweetness of those days is the essence of youth. That makes no sense at all. And dude, will you cut out those commercial lines of yours? That's the essence of youth. I'm home. Whoa, that's a lot of shoes. How many people are here? Welcome home. 
<laughs> Let's put the watermelon open. Say what? Ah, well, you see... Come on, Nanako. Don't pout. Everyone came here to hang out, right? I'm really sorry. It never occurred to me you'd want to do that. Hey, Nanako-chan, let's do it again sometime. Next time, we'll do it right at the beach. Seconded. Whoa, does that mean we get another chance to see you in bathing suits? Oh, there probably aren't enough days left. We'll have to do it next year. Next year? Will you play with me next year too? Of course we will! You betcha! You betcha! Did you hear that, Nanako? Yep, thank you! Thanks for everything today.